Good morning, everybody. I want to welcome everybody to uh, City Hall today for a special celebration and flag raising. Uh, my name is Robert Sullivan. I'm the mayor of the City Champions, Brockton, Massachusetts. I want to give a shout out and thank um, District Attorney Tim Cruz for being here. DA, thank you very much for being here. I want to thank Brockton City Council President Jack Lally for being here. Mr. President, thank you. I want to thank School Committee Member from Ward 7, Tim Sullivan, for being here. And on behalf of Senator Mike Brady, Ed Miller, thank you for being here. Also want to thank Inez Figueroa from the Latin Women's Association for being here. Um, we, uh, we're a beautiful, diverse city, uh, and that's what makes Brockton Brockton. So when I became mayor, I made a pledge that we will honor and respect all the different aspects of the city of Brockton. So today, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, first ever El Salvadorian flag raising. And I'm really excited to be able to uh, share this day with you. Um, again, today the city of Brockton celebrates the 201st anniversary of El Salvadorian Independence Day. On September 15, 1821, El Salvador declared independence from the Spanish Empire through the Act of Independence of Central America. The nation's flag features a horizontal tri-band of cobalt blue, white cobalt blue, with a coat of arms centered and entirely contained within the central white stripe. The vivid cobalt blue represents the sky and the ocean, with white representing peace. El Salvador's national motto is Dios, Union, Libertad, which means God, Union, and Liberty. It's em emblazed within the coat of arms. And the current flag that you're looking at here, and I want to thank those that brought it, was adopted on May 17th in the year 1912 by President Manuel Enrique Arujo. And today, Brockton, uh, we are proud to celebrate the independence of El Salvador by raising its flag. And I truly want to thank all of the local officials, uh, the state officials, the county officials for being here, celebrating the freedom of this vibrant, special nation. But more importantly, I want to thank the city employees and school employees that always come and join us uh, to make sure that we include all aspects of our fine city and all of the hardworking El Salvadorian folks that live and work in the city of Brock. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. One such person is, uh, is Jackie uh, Lemos. She, uh, she works here in the assessor's uh, department. And I'm going to ask Jackie to please come forward. And I'm going to proudly give Jackie a proclamation Proclamation, whereas on September 15, 1821, El Salvador declared independence from the Spanish Empire, again through the Act of Independence of Central America. And whereas in 1821, El Salvador joined Costa Rica, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua to form union entitled Federal Republic of Central America. And whereas when the Federal Republic of Central America dissolved in the year 1841, El Salvador maintained its own government uh, until it joined Honduras and Nicaragua in 1896 to form the Greater Republic of Central America, which dissolved in the year 1898. Today, uh, September 15th in the year 2022, El Salvadorian Independence Day recognizes the 201st anniversary of the independence of El Salvador. And whereas our vibrant El Salvadorian community within our city has made tremendous contributions to the city as a whole, now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of our fine city of Brockton, do hereby proudly proclaim today, September 15th, in the year 2022, in our city as El Salvadorian Independence Day, and I respectfully urge all residents and business owners within our fine city to please join me in observing this special day. So with that being said, I'd probably like to give this to Jackie. I'm going to uh, ask uh, President Lally if he would like to say a few words at this time. Thank you again, Jackie, for what you do. All right. The wind picked up as soon as I came up here, so I'm going to have a bit of a mess with my hair. I want to thank you, Mr. Mayor, uh, and Viva El Salvador. You know? That's right. I think it's I think it's great that you know the city does this, and I've I've said it before. You know, giving giving this this time to to honor 
uh, you know, all of the all of the communities within the city that have that have sort of made Brockton what it is. And I think that you know El Salvador is very well represented, very proudly represented today. Um, and in really a a big credit to to Brockton and uh, instrumental to where we are today, uh, along with with you know a lot of our other partners. So I'm very happy to see that that everyone's come out, um, you know, and that we have such a, a a bond, you know, Brockton and El Salvador with you know our 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 shared priorities, you know. So I appreciate you coming out. Looks like you brought food, so I appreciate it even more. <laughs> and I'm gonna pass it back to the mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. At this time, I'd like uh, Plymouth County District Attorney Tim Cruz to come up to the podium. Mr. DA. It's, it's great to be here today. I, I just want to thank the city of Brockton, um, uh, President Lally, and all the counselors and everybody that works here every day that makes it, making a difference in our community. This is really important. It's really special, I think, to do this and represent all the different people that live here in this city. And it, it gives me great pride to come over when I, whenever I can. Our building's right across the street. But coming over and representing what's going on uh, for the people here in our community, it makes a huge difference. So I want to thank uh, the mayor for doing this. I know there's another flag ceremony tomorrow. And I think it's important for people to understand that the city of Brockton really is a melting pot. And it's really put together by a lot of different people who are making a difference every day in people's lives. So thanks so much for having me here today, and congratulations to El Salvador. The other is Timothy. Mr. Sullivan, would you like to come to the podium? Again, Tim Sullivan uh, proudly represents Ward 7 on the school committee. Mr. Sullivan. Viva El Salvador. Glad to be here and glad you're here. As you all know, Brockton is a gateway city and welcomes every nationality aboard. Without you, we couldn't do what we do. And just so you know, I'm on the school committee and I represent Ward 7, which is the northwest side of Brockton. But anybody has any trouble with the school or the school system, my name again is Tim Sullivan. Just give me a call. The telephone number is on the web page of Brockton Public Schools. And congratulations to all the El Salvadorian people, and welcome to Brockton. I'm glad you're here. I'll turn it back to the mayor. I, I do want to thank uh, State Representative Jerry Cassidy and State Rep uh, Michelle Dubois. Unfortunately, they're, they're in Beacon Hill today uh, in session, so the reps weren't able to join us. And I know Senator Brady, again, couldn't join us, but Ed Miller is here. Ed, would you like to say something on behalf of the senator? Less is best, right, Ed? <laughs> so, I, I enjoy, thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. So at this time, I, I do also want to thank Teffy's, uh, who has graciously donated the wonderful food that we'll all be sharing. Uh, and at this time, if we could um, please go over to the flagpole, and we're going to proudly raise the flag of El Salvador.
Again, I do want to thank everybody for being here today. Uh, I also want to uh, let everybody know uh, we do a lot of first uh, first ever events. Uh, Hispanic Heritage uh, Month is coming up. I want to thank Inez, uh, and it starts today. Inez and, and her daughter Carmen. We will be doing on Sunday, October 2nd, a, uh, a Hispanic cultural parade here in downtown Brockton. It hasn't happened before. Uh, it's a wonderful endeavor. If you're familiar with the holiday parade, which is uh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, that's the route that we'll be doing. Uh, it will be starting off at 12 o'clock, uh, and it will be c concluding here at City Hall. So it's 12 to 3.30. Again, I want to thank Inez, and, and, and I also want to thank uh, Chief Perez and Chief Nardelli and Captain Picaro that have been working on this. So again, today's a special day for those from El Salvador and everybody here in the city of Brockton. Again, thank you, Teffies, for the food. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day. Thank you.